Hey guys, it's me and today I'm back with another DIY duct tape tutorial. This tutorial is going to be on how to make a duct tape decorative pillow. It's a really cute pillow and I've been using this on my bed for the longest time now. I do not recommend you sleep on this. This is just for decoration, although it can be pretty comfy. I just like lay my head here and it's really comfortable, but I do not recommend you do that. But before I totally get into this tutorial, I do want to say thanks to Duct Tape Susie who came up with the seaming idea for her crossbody bags and I used that for how to make this. As you can see, there are seams around the pillow. So a big shout out to you for making that and coming up with that idea. So for the supplies, you're basically just going to need all your normal duct tape stuff. You're going to need cutting mats, rulers, exacto knives, scissors, anything you would use for any kind of duct tape craft. And in addition to that, you're going to need a stapler. And you're also going to need a big bag of stuffing. If you don't have stuffings, there are substitutions for this. You can use stuff like toilet paper, tissue paper, plastic bags are good to use. So there are different options that you can use, but I chose to buy a big bag of stuffing, which was, I think, about $3 at Walmart. So let's get to the tutorial. Okay, so I'm starting out with tape that is 12 inches long, and I have five pieces here. So now we're just going to start layering these. Okay, so I actually had to add another strip at the end, so now I have six strips, so it should be... You should have a piece that's around 10 inches long, so now you're going to want to layer some tape on the back. Now you can use any tape you want, you can use your color tape or whatever you want, but I'm going to use some of the rolls that I have less of and I can't really make anything of because it's just going to waste a lot of tape considering it's not going to show, it's going to be on the inside. Okay, so now that that's done, you're going to want to make another piece just like this that is 12 inches long this way and then 10 inches tall. And you're going to want to make that in your pattern color. Okay guys, so now that you should have these two panels, we're going to start working on putting them together. Now if you use these scraps of tape that you didn't have much to do with, like me, you should have these funky looking insides. And this is actually really going to help you because what I do is I use these to help me remember how to flip it inside out because that's how we're going to make the pillow. So this will make a lot more sense as we go along. Okay, so our first step is to take your color piece and face it upward so that way the color is facing you. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your other piece and you're going to make sure this is facing down on top of it. So you're going to see your funky side if that's what you did. And you're just going to line them up together. Okay, so now that you've done that, you're going to take your stapler and we're going to start stapling the sides. Okay, so now that you're done stapling, your side should look like this, and now we're going to start with the next step. Okay, so for the next step, you're going to take a piece that's as long as your pillow, and you're going to cut that in half. And now what we're going to do, we're going to peel that up, and we're going to place the tape directly on the flat end of the staples. And it's going to be half on and half off. And you're going to flip it over and you're going to fold this side over completely. So you're gonna fold over some of the pillow too. And this is what's going to help you get those seams on the sides. And as you can see now, you can see where your seams are going to be. So now you're just going to repeat both steps of stapling this side and taping that. Okay, so now your side should look like this, and you're going to do the same steps for the bottom piece here, but don't do anything to the top because that's going to help us put our stuffing in. Okay, so now this is all done, and we're going to work on folding this inside out so we have our regular pillow. So basically, you just want to start pushing the bottom out, and this can take a while, but you're just going to start pushing out the bottom and the sides. Alright, so now we have our pillow, 
and now we're going to start stuffing it. Okay, so I had to move my camera because this is going to take up a lot of space and I just needed a really big area to do this. So now we're just going to take our stuffing or whatever you're using and we're just going to start filling in all of the stuffing through here. Okay, so now that it is all stuffed, we're going to take our colored tape and that's what's going to seal the whole thing together, so. Okay, so now what I've done is I took a piece of my colored tape and this is what's going to seal up the top once it's all stuffed. So we're just going to take that piece of tape and it has to be as long as your pillow, maybe even a little bit longer. And you just kind of want to take something to weigh it down a bit. And then you're just going to want to put this right along the print of your tape. And it might take a minute because it is a little tricky to do, but just kind of place it around there. Okay, and now we're just going to flip it over Make sure all your stuffing's in and fold it flat down and try to line it up together. And once you've done that, you're just going to fold the top over. And just fold that over. and then just flatten everything down and then just kind of run your fingers across the top and with that you're done so thanks for watching this tutorial guys i really hope you enjoyed how to make this duct tape pillow and i will talk to you guys soon bye